Alright guys, to install uh, Industrial Craft and Build Craft from 1.4.7, what I'm going to ask you to do is I want you to go to Options and Force Update Your Game, click Done and Log In. Make sure you always force update your game um, to the current 1.4.7. This will erase those mods you might have installed that might not be compatible with um, Build Craft, Industrial Craft, Minecraft Forge and different things like that. Um, those will, you will all be... Um, installing those into your minecraft game so you want to make sure you have an updated minecraft that uh, just clears your minecraft and gives you a clean start so um, if you guys have mods installed and they aren't compatible you will get a black screen and I can't help you so make sure you always force update your game now once your game is done force updating click out of minecraft make sure minecraft is closed when installing mods so um, if you guys haven't already, you want to go to my description. Um, you'll see the websites Buildcraft, Industrialcraft, uh, Minecraft Forge, Too Many Items, Optifine, and Winrar. I will have all these links in the description so you can download all of those. Um, so if you go to the Industrial Craft, and uh, this is the Industrial Craft website that I have in the description. Um, it does say 1.4.6 open beta. Um, I clicked. I clicked download this. So I downloaded this, and it is for 1.4.6, but it does work work in 1.4.7. Now 1.4.7 wasn't really a huge. Uh, change to 1.4.6 so it didn't really change any of the files so you can always use 1.4.6 for um, industrial craft um, you know build craft it does say for 1.4.7 so if you guys are too uh, you guys really don't want to download industrial craft anyway uh, you can just download build craft it really doesn't matter to me but they do both work uh, now optifine will also say the say same thing now this is um, 1.4.6 HD U B1 Excuse me, this is B1. Now, this also works for 1.4.7. So, um, once you've downloaded all those and they're on your desktop, kind of like this, you want to go to start and you want to type in, you want to type in percent appdata. That's percent app data percent. Now, once that is done, you want you can either click run because it will either pop up and click run, or you can see the roaming folder on the top here. Now you'll click on the roaming folder, and on the top you will see the dot Minecraft folder. You want to open the Minecraft folder, and you'll see the bin resources, saves, and everything else. Now um, you want to click on the bin, and you want to click down here, and you'll see the Minecraft. And you want to right click on Minecraft, open with. WinRAR. Now if you guys don't already have WinRAR installed, the link will be in the description and you can download and install WinRAR. Now um, you'll see this folder called MetaInf and you want to right click on MetaInf, you want to delete the files. Now, are you sure you want to delete? Yes, you always want to make sure you delete MetaInf from your Minecraft.jar the over to WinRAR. What this does is it doesn't allow your mods to install. So um, we'll move this aside if you guys don't exit out of your Minecraft anything yet. So um, once this is up, you want to click on Minecraft Forge. So once this Minecraft Forge is opened, you want to you also see the meta -inf folder here, but you don't want to delete that meta -inf folder. You always want to leave that there. So you want to select all. You want to drag all these files into the Minecraft.jar that you opened with WinRAR. Now you will see that this takes a while longer to um, update or process or whatever you want to call it because it is kind of a bigger folder so you want to make sure you let this process and uh, once this is done you always want to make sure you click OK so that way it moves all the rest of the files over so like I said you'll see this um, pop up you want to click OK so once that is all done you can exit out of your Minecraft Forge now that is all you guys need to do with the Minecraft.jar um, to install these mods but just for the sake of the mods I am also going to be downloading install too many items and Optifine these two mods are not are required for these mods but like I said they are good to have so when I open too many items we want to select all and you want to drag all of these into the Minecraft.jar with WinRAR. Now I'm going to push OK and we're done with too many items. We can do this right here. Now I'm also going to um, install Optifine. So I'm going to select all. And I'm going to drag all of these right here into the Minecraft.jar with WinRAR. Now that is, you are completed with Optifine and you also completed with the Minecraft.jar with WinRAR. So you can exit out of those. Now you will see um, back where the natives and the Minecraft, where you open the Minecraft folder. Um, you want to just click back one. Now you will also, you will see the bin resources saves and everything else. If you guys have exited out of this on accident, just go down to start and you type in the percent app data percent and you will see the bin resources saves and everything else. So you want to right click and you want to make a new 
folder. If you guys already have the mods folder, then just drag them into the mods folder. But M O D S, that's all under all under caps uh, mods, and you'll push enter. Now you'll open the mods. We open the bin folder. Sorry, we want to open the mods folder, and you will see this folder is empty. So we want to drag industrial craft and build craft right into the mods folder. Now that is all you guys need to do. That is completed with installation.